Hello and welcome, Forex fans. Drop here from Explorer here with Master of Magic, the reboot, the new Master of Magic. I don't know what you want to say, but I'm here with the Through the Mirror additional content that was just given to us by Slytherin. And I'm excited to kind of dive in and see what it's all about because there are some things here that I don't think have been publicly revealed yet. And from what I've read, there's no embargo. So hopefully I'm not angering anybody here. But yeah, with that said, there's a, a, an additional hero that I haven't seen revealed. So there's Korax, Whitefeather, who honestly is pretty damn cool because I just, I like birds and I dig the art. So I'm, I'm good with that. And then plus his, his like story here is pretty cool. But we also have now Ras, which is funny because this is actually what Sra used to look like over here. But people thought he didn't look scholarly enough, so they they redid him. But now they've been able to bring this really, honestly, fantastic artwork back. And he has both the Death and Chaos spell books, which make him kind of fun sounding, in my opinion. Then we have Bianca, who now has, well, she's new, of course, and she's also bearded, which I think is pretty cool. I mean, she's a dwarf, so bearded dwarfs. Yeah, well... She's got nature, sorcery, and chaos. And then we have, I want to say Tlachka, Tlachka, Tlachka. I'm going to go with Tlachka. She is all about that nature. In fact, we're going to choose her because I think she's pretty rad looking. And because when it comes down to it, we're going to be playing as the new goblins, which is what we're all here for, right? So we're going to take the goblins. By the way, great art. I mean, I just... If there's one thing this game does extraordinarily well, it's art. Now, I don't know about the rest of the game, but I'm still <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out if I like it or not. But we're going to go ahead and play as the goblins, who have a very fast growth rate, which I appreciate because I'm usually all about that very fast growth rate. And then we have other modifiers like negative one armor. And I guess it's negative. No, it is. It's the Earthwalker skill for basic units. I was about to say, it's not, it can't be a negative Earthwalker skill. So their set of the units cost a little bit more in production, but they have the racial units of Boar Riders, Druids, and Beastmaster. So let's get started. Tlachka. Let's do it, Tlachka. Any day now. All right, here we go. Super powerful system, and yet that took a little longer than I'd hoped for. You know, if I were to make one suggestion, one hope, especially now having played another upcoming Fantasy Forex game, is that they might want to revisit some of this, right? So, like, it's not all about looks, but in comparison to that other game, it just doesn't look like a 2023 game. Which is sad because the art on display here is superb. Like, just extraordinary, really. So it just feels like there's a missed opportunity here. Like, I almost want to see just the 2D art throughout, throughout the entire game. Like, just do away with the 3D models, make it a 2D art game, and I would be extraordinarily happy. I also want to see something to like kind of done to, to mitigate city spam, but we'll get into that in my review eventually. <laughs> uh, someone else is going to do the review. In fact, Battlemed was going to, but I think he's kind of been overwhelmed by a lot of things that's going on. So I am now taking over that duty. So take that for what you will. We're going to move down here. Probably try to come along this coastline here. That way we can keep some food. And we also want to... I wish there was a... You know, like, a, I guess this is, a, I start to ask for things that I know are like modernizations that I, I guess might be outside of their, their, I mean, not desires, but maybe like their, their plan for this game. I don't know. I don't know what their plan is now moving forward. So I don't know if the idea is maybe to bring it up to speed now that they're kind of getting outside of the traditional like base game, because of course this new like content pack is. It's not what the base game was about. It's got some mages there that just weren't there, which I think are the best mages of the game. 
So anyways, <laughs> but I'm digressing so hardcore here. So let's pick some research. And man, summon hero is extraordinarily expensive. Earth lore. Incantation allows you to listen to the whispers of the earth. The spell reveals places of interest in cities on all hexes in the range of seven hexes from the selected spot. It's going to take 45 turns with the research rate we've got, but we're going to go ahead and do that. And we'll come over here and take a look to see what we're going to do now. Some nice 2D art again. And we're going to leave it with housing for now. And then hopefully we can come and upgrade that here in a second. Well, maybe not a second. A few turns. We're going to let that city build. And we're going to try to find another city in the process. Okay, we're definitely not going over there. All right. We just went on a mountain. Movement's over. That should be five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Can I do it yet? Built outpost. Well, let's look to see what we can do here first. So this has got the river mouth, which is going to give us additional food. And there's tundra there. That sucks. Forest, though, with some additional production. There's wild game for additional food. There's a bunch of food here. And then what is the... Like that stuff there? I don't remember what it is. I feel like this is a decent spot for a second city. I really like food. We're definitely... Oh, wait, okay. Never mind. Never mind. I have to go one more down, which sucks. Alright, Barbarian Spearmen will take them. Come down one to see where we're at with regards to okay so shore maximum population increases town income by 10 percent we'll do that here with the river mouth as well but we'll gain some okay i think we're good here it's not perfect i would have rather that spot but this should be good i think it's five right yeah it's five so furry patch and now we move our spearmen here. Right, they're spearmen. Barbarian spearmen. I was trying to think of. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I will do something else. So we're negative on food. We're going to need to perhaps drop a worker for now. Sorry, we're going to have to increase our farmer. And we'll come down here. Let's see what we can do to cast spells, by the way. Water walking. Resist elements for a three resistance bonus. Wall of stone. Instantly creates a wall of stone in the target city. We'll take a magic spirit for now so we can use that to explore a bit. The first phase of any Forex game. Let's look at these guys. God, that art. Man, I'll tell you what. It's so good. So good. It feels wasted. It really does. Ugh. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be negative. I'm not. Alright, Master of Comparing Gifts, I offer you a magic spirit. They are great scouts, and I agree. I will accept. Ooh, this is a new familiar. Alright, so we'll take the magic spirit. And we summon our magic spirit as well. So we have two. And we'll move my furry little bears. How about you? How about how big are you guys? The war bears. All right, that's a good starting unit. That's a great starting unit, really. All right, we'll come over here, and we'll split you guys up. And you, you're going to auto explore, which you can't do. I forgot. Oh no. I for I felt like this game had auto explore, but I guess not. Oh, I'm having a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be critical because that's who I am, right? I mean, I, I'm here to be critical of Warwick's games, but I am also here to show off some of the new content here. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep my mouth shut in order to show you the new, the new stuff. All right, so we're going to cross over. Looks like we're in the bottom left-hand corner of this large map. And by large map, I thought it was small. It is a small map, but it's actually larger than I remember. Okay, so whatever. 
gonna come over here. Maybe explore this last little like corner here. And make our way up here. I mean, you know what? There's so many points of interest. Maybe we try to bring our large group over here after actually no, we'll, we're gonna stick to the stick to the plan. So there's, oh, I forgot what they do. They provide one food and one gold. But Mammoths. It's a decent place for another colony eventually. Since that's what this game's about. Colony spam. Alright, sprites. Summon sprites, tiny flying creatures with magic ranged attack. War bears are pretty darn awesome. Gotta admit, stone skin, transform the outer flesh into a crust of stone, cause the target skin to harden, increasing the unit's armor by one. Is that a permanent spell? Casting time 12 minutes, or sorry, 12 turns. Upkeep, yes, yeah, so it is, okay. Okay, right, in turn. Yeah, my hope is now that they've completed the base game that they can start to make changes to it to make it better to make it more in line with maybe some of the things we're familiar with and comfortable with in 2023 these are no mere ruins this is an old dungeon let's take a look this is a new screen all right so unfortunately i'm going to have to pull out of that engagement but i do like that new screen all right we're making improvements i love it you know, we'll just come over here and look. Why not? Some fire elementals for the loss. Actually, it's saying that we could win? No way. I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna try it. I was about to say, wow, I mean, I'll take it. We almost killed it. We could probably finish him off with this one. Oh no! I actually lost. That was not expected. Let's go finish them off before we allow them to regenerate. I don't think they regenerate, actually. So I don't think we're in any rush. Come on over here. Take a look. All right. This one was far beyond my skill level. Up over here. You know, it's time to start looking at our actual city. Pretty sure we're probably. Yeah, we've got 6,000. And growth is so slow in this game. Bro, bruh, bruh, bruh. And we can't even do anything here. So, you know what we'll do? We're going to build. Mm, Huh, wait, I thought that this place was a good spot for, for, for food. We're at surplus three. So maybe we come back over here and we increase our worker. Come back to furry patch here. Start building stuff. With barracks, we can... Oh, man. I'm used to mousing over. Let's do the sawmill. Move it over here, but then let's take a look here. So we've got goblin swordsmen, goblin bowmen, and war riders. Alright, outpost expanded. Furry patch is growing big enough to turn into a hamlet. You can now manage his production. You don't say. Alright, come on over here. I'm interested to know what you guys think would be for the bird mage. I forgot his name already, but he's cool. He's all about that life. What would be a good starting race for him? Let me know in the comments below. So we're going to come over here to Poth. 
to see what we're up against here. So they're beastmen. We'll go ahead and leave them alone for now. And yeah, we're just gonna go straight to that spot. Cause I also want to continue exploring after I get there. So we'll set them up there. And then we're going to come back over to Beast Hut and change it to likely, ooh, stables probably for the boar riders. Maybe we go to the library for the research actually first. And then, I kind of want the boarman. Actually, let's increase your production first, then stables. Now that we've got nearly 7,000. This is so slow. Yeah, that's a that's a thing that I don't like. <laughs> I'm trying, trying not to say stuff like that. It's hard. It's hard, friends. I think this is a good pivot point, though. I really do think this is an opportunity for Muha to make this game more accessible and perhaps speed it up a bit and also add options like turning off city founding and stuff like that because that would be something for me I would do in a heartbeat. If the only way I could make cities or find new cities spell ready. Okay, oh, there we go. The stone skin. All right, so let's move over and we're going to give it to the bears. And then they're going to be unstoppable. So giant strength converts wizard's power into raw strength with their followers and increases targets, units, melee attack strength by plus one. We're going to do wall of stone actually so that we can have something set up for beast hut here. And yeah, so what I'm saying is that this is an opportunity, right? So now that they've gotten the, the base game out, they've done a pretty good job of showing things up. They can now start to pivot and add options that allow for the game to just feel maybe a little bit more accessible, a little more fun for some players. Maybe turn around and start to also upgrade the visuals a bit. It really depends. I don't know how sales are going. But for me, like I said, the city founding thing would be the first thing I turn off. Man, this is not what I expected, so we'll command personally. But it's an opportunity. It really is. And then, you know, if you allowed the city founding to be turned off, it would just be about you know, integrating the free cities that you find. And that's way up more alley. My alley. Way more up my alley. How about that? That's the way you say it. All right. We could not do anything. We're insufficient. We have nothing. I'm so used to playing a certain other fantasy forex that I... That might be coming up in the near future. That I've kind of forgotten how to play this one a bit. May not be the best person to showcase this, but... I'm doing it anyways, friends. <laughs> So get over it. Oh man. Actually that went better than I expected. Oof. Oh no. Took out an entire goblin swordsman. But we won. And at the end of the day, we gained some mana, we gained some gold. That's what we wanted. I was hoping the uh, war bears would actually do the initial attacking. So I felt like they would have probably handled that much better. Alright, so our goblin swordsmen have leveled up. Alright, so we're actually on this like small island here. Unless this comes out, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're on a smaller island. Ebony and ivory. Where's Ivory? All right, so we'll start to explore a little bit here. Ooh, look at these dark elves. Dark elves. We're not going to engage. Ebony, good for you. You've got quite yourself a little garrison there. Ancient devils or relics of ages past. Let's see what's in here. Oh my God, that's a big. Ixnay on the... Nope, not doing that. Alright. Fallen temples are remnants of ancient palaces of worship. 
Let's see what we've got here. So, again, something a little bit too more too difficult. Looking over here. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't. I would give anything for an undo button. All right, so resources, we have mithril ore and silver ore, which is great. I think we can actually swap that a bit here too, since our food production is pretty high. And then we're going to allow this to stay as is. You know, I realize I think I screwed myself by taking this spot. It's not as good as I thought it was. I mean, the shore does get food. I think the tundra is messing me up a little bit. I just feel like this city's not doing nearly as well as it should. The wild game is giving two food. But the, I mean, like, the population growth is so slow. Lord. I don't remember it being this slow. Was it changed? Or is it just that slow? Alright, move army. Because you know what that does, honestly. It just slows the game down to a pace that doesn't feel very fun. Oh, I said it again. I did things. Some caves are mere shelter from the elements. I know. Holy crap. We're not going to do that. Come over here. And... You know, and turn here. they called those are gates right i forgot i think they're ancient temples i think those are gates i guess it's been a minute since i played so we'll come down here we can cast our wall of stone spell so we're going to nice little visual upgrade i like it i appreciate it move army to this spot so we can then check this place out Give me the chance. I would like an auto explorer because eventually I just get bored of having a like. I, I as soon as I know my surrounding area, like I meet my immediately my immediate surrounding area, I I just I don't care, really, especially in the beginning. So just food for thought. Oh my, that's actually the most powerful one I've seen. And I figured maybe since it was closer that it might be a little less powerful, but I am wrong. Here's some... Is that Mithra Ore? I think that's Mithra Ore. Silver Ore. That's what it is. Alright, so they finally broke the two population threshold. <laughs> nice. So we might actually be able to start building things in a reasonable amount of time, but we are going to buy this out. Add to our production... And we'll come over here and see what we can do with this one too. We can buy that one out as well. All right, so extra production is always bueno. We're gonna need more food though. That is definitely a thing. One of my friends was telling me that they were playing a game of Master of Magic where they had like 15 cities just to support their armies and that just doesn't sound fun some caves are yeah great empty empty cave works for me continue to explore all right i saw splattercats video too he was saying that this game is simple enough to be an introductory 4x and in some ways, I agree with that because I think at the base level, you can, especially on like easier difficulties. I mean, you can you can customize the difficulties, which is great, but especially on the easier difficulties, this game doesn't feel particularly nuanced. I know at the higher difficulties, like, I mean, every move you make, every turn you make matters, but that's pretty much the case with every 4X at the higher difficulties. All right, so they're almost at three which is great. 
we'll go ahead and work to go to increase the food harvest by two. I'm going to go ahead with that. We'll get druids out of the kit out of that. And then what about you over here yet? Have we completed the stables? Almost. So we'll come back and build or train, I should say, the boar riders later. One more turn for the boar riders. Eric's all right. Well, the force skill is going to cost 800 gold or 29 turns. That's not a, an insignificant amount of time or money. All right, we've got our stables, which means now we can build our boar riders, our, tr our train. I'm sorry. I'm using the wrong verb. We're going to. It's going to be our thing. We're going to do this. All right, mineral bonus 50% and city production bonus requires minerals, which we have. How long is this going to take? Probably quite a long time. This will only be six turns, but... Can we actually, can we just go, as, yes, we can. But that means we don't get, no, okay, we're, we're good. I think excess isn't stockpiled, so that's probably the best way to do it. All right, we complete. I just did this. I just did it, guys, come on. All right, we will, actually, let's come over here. A, I mean, it's funny that it says it's a small map because I feel like this is probably like at least a medium map on in most other games. I, I went here, right? Yes, I did. I haven't gone there yet, but it's 18, so I imagine it's probably stronger than my abilities. This power node here. All right, we'll cross the next little straight here. And we'll come over to this spot, this point of interest. I think what I'm gonna do too is probably the next time we have an opportunity with that second furry patch here, we're gonna go ahead and build settlers. Maybe not with this one actually. We'll build them here. So. And then I think what we'll do with these is head on down this way. Looks like there's a decent spot. I don't know. I'll have to look. Depends on if we can get both of these in there. I think we can with that hex. I don't know. We'll have to go and check. To find the perfect placement. The perfect placement. All right. Over here. We found our next little island, and we will continue to explore it. Let's see what's in here. All right, some caves are scary. I feel like, oh man, you know, hellhounds, if I had more, I'd be all right. That's definitely something we could take out if I had more units, <laughs> but then just sacrifice them all. If we get the bull riders, though, I think we'll be all right. In fact, Let's try them again after the bull riders get here. Alright, bull riders. Roll out. Alright, can we do this again? Nope, we can't knock this yet. Not just yet. And then we have 13 turns for the miners guild, which probably puts us at about 17 turns for the next Pioneer, colonizer, whatever they're calling a the unit. <laughs> what are they called? I, I'm literally I'm, I'm at a loss. Settlers, that's what they are. Alright, let's see. Our chances are higher. I do think we could take these. Especially with these war bears. How's my... I think, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to try. Hopefully I have enough mana. Because if I don't have enough mana, I'm screwed. 41. I'm good. I will use mana to the best of my ability here. 
Alright, so stone skin, maybe I go with stone skin again or giant strength. Do I try that again? Or try that, period? I feel like I should just really buff the crap out of these four bears. And I'm gonna let these guys. I take the brunt of things here. Yeah, that's probably where I'm going to go. It took way more damage than I expected. Seriously? All that's for nothing. I'm going to actually resist elements. Would that be fire too? Against monster attacks. I wonder if that's... Are these considered monsters? I think they are. Fantastic unit. I think that means monster. I don't know. Don't fire me. Oh, I don't know. Do I do it? I mean, they've got extraordinary attack. I feel like I try to take advantage of that. It didn't even work. How did that not go better for me? I'm a little disappointed on that. I'm almost nervous to hit and turn. Yep, I had a feeling. Wow, the boars are doing better. Oh, Lord. They just got killed. Oh, man. Let's try to take these guys out. No! Seriously? I can't believe I lost this battle. Oh, that's infuriating. Um, I'll just say, like, it's not working anymore. I think the resistance is helping me, for sure. I don't think it stacks either. So I'm not going to worry about it, but I want to take these guys out. Alright, good. So I took them out. I'm hoping this resistance is going to save the day here. Finish them off. Yeah, I should have given them all resistance. That's definitely something I will remember next time I go against Hellhounds, because that seemed to have like completely changed that Warbearer's ability to fight them off, so. Spell researched Earth Law. I do want to cast that actually. I want to see what that's all about. Or what we have around us, I should say. So let's see what we're going to research next. We're going to Crack Skull. I don't remember this one. Transmute, Summon Hero. I really want Summon Hero, but that's going to take forever. Dispel Magic. I mean, why not? Everything's going to take forever. I need to get my research going. Definitely slow going for right now. I almost want to do this instead. We're going to do this instead. We'll buy them out, and then we'll go back to the other one, and then you are going to hang tight and recuperate. Settlers, I should say. I keep wanting to say colonizers. They should be out. I got it. I got a little excited with my exploration here. I'm not sure why. <laughs> uh, all right, so I feel like that might be a good spot. 
Here we go. Oh, I won't be able to get to there. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have to come down here. But there's the silver ore for two gold, silver ore. Grassland, sure, sure. So do I try to come down here? I don't think so. I think this is the better bet right here. Unless I'm missing, maybe, ooh, I don't know. No, I won't be able to get that. Oh, I didn't realize that it now has... This is a better spot right here. Iron ore, forest, mithril ore. That's 100% a better spot. So we're going to come up here. How did I do that? Is that from hitting this button? It is from hitting that button. All right. Let's get you up here. And then we will found our new exp outpost. All that ore. I like it. Let's see what the production looks like, though. So we're going to go ahead and leave you here for now at Weed Grove. I don't know why you keep doing that. I should be clicking on that, shouldn't I? Why? Oh, it's because it's an outpost. Crap, I forgot. Duh. Where is everyone? I figured there would be at least somebody else down here with me, but no, not so far. I mean, I didn't explore all of that landmass there, but... All right, let's come down here, see what we're doing here. Miner's Guild's just a few turns away. Forcer's Guild's also just a few turns away. All right, what I'll do is I'll play ahead just a little bit, and we'll come back for episode two, where I've kind of gotten away from some of the like early game tedium here. And before I do that, I do want to kind of lay out my feelings. So I don't think I've really been quiet on the fact that I think that this game held to its traditions a little too tightly held to its like originations origins too tightly and I think to its detriment it's done so because the base game of Master of Magic in my opinion is outdated in so many ways right not just for its 1994-ness or whatever year it came out but because like just there's so many quality of life things that have come along and have improved the genre in the 30 years past that I can't really live without personally and why does it say alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha th oh is that alpha numeric 1 yeah that's what it is that's what it is right there. Anyway, so the thought was that, like, my personal feelings are that, like, now, if, if Slytherin wanted to produce, like, a one-for-one -one remake, which I imagine that's probably what the case was, then the game has done that now. Like, you got your game out, so now maybe it's time to diverge rather... <laughs> rather significantly in my opinion and take a lot more cues from caster magic but also just more cues from i don't know modern forex games and give me stuff like auto explore or turn off city founding come back do a gra uh, graphics pass add some more uniqueness to maps i mean these points of interest are fun and all except that they're usually extraordinarily hard on the normal difficulties, but where are the natural wonders, right? Like, where are things that make me like just ooh and ah as I, as I discover them? There's nothing about this map that makes me feel excited about exploration. I'm only doing so because I know it's important, and I actually wanted to meet another wizard, but like, and then the the, the thing would too would be if like 
if you did turn off city founding, I guess more importantly, like how it would significant significantly improve or significantly increase the importance of exploration because then you'd be looking for these all over the place, right? You'd, you'd be desperate to find them. So I guess my point is that especially having played another significant fantasy 4X game that's coming out in the next few months and seeing the innovation that came from Spellforce Conquest of EO, I just want better for this game. I mean, I think Spellforce Conquest of EO is a better looking game than this one. And I'm not really a graphics snob by any means, but I do think that there was an opportunity lost here, especially considering Muha's extraordinary talent. Extraordinary. Like, unbelievable talent with 2D art. It's fantastic. I mean, there's nothing... There's, there's very little I could say about this that... <laughs> I mean, like, it's just... It's a unique art style. And it's some of the best in the industry, bar none. And if they could have utilized that to their advantage by by making it more of a focus of this game and really leaning into it, and instead of doing this 3D art crap, sorry, this, I'm trying to be as positive as I can. I'm sorry. It's, it's just difficult for me because I just, I see so much potential here and I'm angry at it. I really am angry at it. And... You know, I know there's a there's a there's a fan base for this. I know there's an audience for this, but I just feel like they could have broadened that audience with different different choices. And I know I'm not the only one because the Steam reviews reflect that. And I feel like if there is going to be a Master of Magic two, that and if Muha's going to lead that I think you need to give them the creative license to do something different and to maybe go with their 2d art style and really lean into that because I think that would make it extraordinarily unique I think 2d arts actually especially well-drawn 2d art the way that they've got it here is timeless there's just never ever going to be a year where you could come back to a 2d art like that and say that it doesn't look good it's just if it's fantastic so if you need to lean into AI art and allow it to do some of it, some of the legwork, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't. I'm going to do my best to be up to, like as objective as I can with the review that I'm going to write. But I do think it's important as someone who plays these games for hundreds of hours, thousands of hours probably at this point, to offer suggestions on how this game can be improved if there's even room for that at this point i don't know i don't know if it's sold well enough clearly they're offering some free content so it must have sold well enough at some level so here's an opportunity to pivot make this game unique lean into 2023's quality of life and improve the formula with that, I'll play another episode or two. And if you guys want me to show you something that's coming up, please let me know. I will make another video and show you whatever it is you want to see that's coming for this. You know, it's, it's I mean, it's a free update. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. So, anyways, until next time, this is Rob from Explominates. Don't hate me. And keep exploring. <laughs>